Are you a stressed out, busy woman with no free time? Odds are you answered with a resounding yes that was so loud you startled your kids, your dog, and your significant other. Women today have more on their plates than ever before. Natural caregivers who often place the needs of others before their own, they have to make time for their career, kids, friends, siblings, and parents, and even their coworkers and neighbors. Between running back and forth to and from soccer practice, school and work, along with responsibilities at home and social commitments, there never seems to be enough time in the day, especially for your own self-nurture. One day morphs into the next, a week becomes a year, and you start to feel burned out, overwhelmed, exhausted, stressed, angry, and unable to care for anyone. A lack of self-care often leads to stress and overwhelm. 75% of all doctor's office visits are related to stress. Stress is the foundation of 60% of all human disease and illness, may lead to depression, and raises risks of heart disease by 40%. The American Psychological Association says women are more likely to develop mental or physical stress than men are, and this can lead to emotional, mental, and physical health problems. Many women today are frequently neglecting the one person in their lives that matters most, themselves which is a real shame since self-care is a simple practice that can lead to much improved health and well-being in mind, body, emotions, and spirit. If this much too common condition of women ignoring their own self-nurture is prevalent, what is the answer? Is there anything that can help you maintain overall wellness while still caring for others, your career, and handling your overall busy life? There is. Caring for yourself is the basis for wellness in all facets of yourself and your life. You have to take personal responsibility for your own wellness. How spontaneity can beat stress, deliver an I feel good about myself mentality, and an overall positive mental state. The art of giving yourself permission to be healthy and well. Why you should never apologize for putting yourself first. You truly can create the best you that you have ever experienced when you know the specific actions that lead to health and well-being in every aspect of your life. You don't need to be that stereotypical woman who is so busy that stress, anxiety, and self-doubt are frequent companions. You don't have to feel frazzled and unfulfilled. You can feel calm, well, and together. And when you take care of yourself first, you are much better able to take care of those you love. You owe it to yourself and your loved ones to begin taking care of yourself today. Avoid burnout. Avoid overwhelm and exhaustion. Think of your best possible life with inner peace and calm along with physical, mental, and emotional health. A new and balanced you.